What's the difference between an online live event and just pushing play on some pre-recorded content? It's actually an important question because we all know the value of pre-recorded content that we can access online. Netflix or Amazon Prime for about the cost of a sandwich give you access to infinite amounts of online content for every imaginable taste. So why do people pay much, much more than that to be present for a single online show? On the surface, it doesn't make logical sense for BTS fans or Josh Groban fans or whoever to pay 20 or 50 or even $100 just to see one online stream, but they do pay. Whether it's thousands of people to see Hershey Felder performing a one-man musical show or hundreds of thousands of people tuning into the BTS concert, they're willing to pay for the privilege. Why do they do it? Because successful online live events make it important to see the event when it's happening. Just like in real life, you want to be there. You want to have the experience alongside other people and have it mean something that you're witnessing it in real time. In order for an online event to be truly captivating, truly special, there should be something about it that simply has to be live. Sports has this formula figured out. Sports fans want to know the results of the game, of course, but they could check on that later on SportsCenter or wherever. They tune in or go to the game because they want to see it unfold. They want to see how the game ended up the way it did. Now, it's true that for theater or concerts, it's a similar show that happens over and over again, but it's still possible to make it worth being there live. How? Connection, access, participation, feeling the presence of other people in the room with you, even if they're not really in the room with you. I'm a big Broadway fan, so if I had the opportunity to be virtually present at the premiere of a new show, I'd spend good money to do that. Or maybe it's the debut of a new cast member or a new song has been added. Maybe there's a giveaway or a contest or a fundraiser. So many ways to make it important to be there live. Maybe the audience has some actual influence on what happens in the show. Imagine if Josh Groban conducted a poll at the beginning of the concert to choose the opening song after intermission. Or imagine being able to see how other audience members are reacting in all these different interesting ways. Maybe they're virtually clapping or holding up a lighter or giving a standing ovation or having their minds blown. And as the show goes on, patrons see the reactions on their screen in the form of a flow of emoticons and comments, and they can join in too. In a way, producers of live entertainment have been dealing with this forever. Why should I go across town to see something and pay a lot more money for it when I can watch a movie from the comfort of my home? And the answer is because it matters that it's live. The fact that you're witnessing something that's happening right at this moment actually makes it more special, more exciting, and more fun. Online live events do present a new form of that challenge for producers to figure out how to bring a different kind of urgency to what they produce. But when you start to imagine where this can go, what people will like, and what they want, it's not really all that hard. Connection, access, interactivity, the excitement of being in a room with other people and being part of something that's happening right now, seeing it unfold before your eyes. In other words, make it something that has to be live. Make people want to be there. Our industry is already good at this, and people definitely want to have these experiences online too, especially now. So do that magic you do so well. Make online shows that people need to see live. Your fans and your bottom line will thank you.